Okay, so welcome back. This is video number four, and we're gonna talk about uh, different WordPress learning management system plugins that are available to you. Now, obviously there are tons and tons of tons of ones out there, but here's just some of the top ones that are available to you. Now, let's be honest, choosing the right WordPress learning management system is crucial to your success. So really it ends up being your choice at the end of the day. So what you wanna do is you wanna take a look at each site, each plugin, what features they offer, and get an idea of what you want to do. Because what you wanna do may be different than what I wanna do or what somebody else wants to do. So you're gonna know that better than anyone else. So there are some free ones out there, but here's the thing. Is it really worth it? Because the reality is that your site is important. And being able to set things up, accept payments, a lot of times you'll make that money back. That's obviously not a guarantee, but uh, it's all about the experience. If you can create a better experience for people, like I said, the consumption rate is going to go up and they will most likely want, want to come back. So that's what I want you to do is to look through the plugins that we're going to talk about in this video and ask yourself, is this what my students are going to enjoy? Don't even think about price right now. Just think about that right now. Okay, so there are about five WordPress LMS plugins that we're going to go over in this video. But the first one is one that we highly recommend that you get access to. And the reason why is because not only does it offer pretty much every feature that we discuss in this video course, but in addition to that, it also integrates into all sorts of membership plugins, into a lot of different other WordPress plugins that enable you to do much more, to make a not just an online course, but a community that is engaging and that is uh, has gamification built into it via other integrations. And I'll show you that in just a second, but learndash.com. And as you can see here, it, it looks really nice. And actually, as of now, learndash 3.0 was just released and it looks really, really nice. So if we scroll down here, you can kind of get an idea. You can sell your courses, you can drip feed content, you can deliver certificates, points, and badges to encourage learners, and you've got engagement triggers. So based upon different actions that the student takes, you can either message them automatically or uh, do certain things. So that's nice about LearnDash. It's not just a online learning management system that accepts money and delivers your content, but it's, it's just so much more than that. All right. So you can see, you can create groups, you can manage learning progress. So you can see uh, where the student is in terms of their learning path, what they've completed, and you can get reports as well that tell you kind of a bird's eye overview of everybody in your course. So if you scroll back to the top, you can click features here. And there's a lot of things here. It's, you can do quizzing, advanced quizzing. You can create courses very, very easily. You got uh, prerequisites that you can create, you have dynamic forums, you have grade books, you have course points, so you can award points for completing courses and unlock new ones. You got certificates and badges. This is the reason why we like LearnDash is because it's, it provides you with tons and tons of different features. You don't need to use every single one of them, but it's there in case you grow. And that's something to think about you know, as a business person, you need to think long-term. So instead of thinking, okay, 
this is what I need now. Think about, okay, this is what I need now, but I can have the potential of growing, you know, this site, this business to many different courses, to a community kind of thing. Now, before we talk about Learn Dash and, you know, how to integrate it with uh, gamification and all of that, uh, let me talk about the other WordPress plugins. And in fact, what I'll do is when I give you a Learn Dash overview in the next video, we'll discuss that. All right. So the next WordPress LMS plugin is called Lifter LMS. That's lifterlms.com. And as you can see here, it says everything you need to create, sell, protect your online courses. So if we scroll down here, you can get an idea of uh, what it offers. And like I said, what I recommend that you do is jot down what your vision is or what are the elements and the features that you will need. So that's one. That's the second one. The third one is called WP Courseware. And you can get here by going to flyplugins.com slash WP dash courseware. Or you can simply go to google.com and type in WP Courseware and you'll get this page. Now, WP Courseware has actually been around for a good amount of time. In fact, uh, when WordPress Elements Systems began to develop, uh, they were actually one of the first few ones. So they've evolved a, a good amount over the years. Now, as you can see, they've got drag and drop, they got drip content, which is uh, pretty standard nowadays. They, you can protect your courses, quizzes, you can manage students, you've got membership integration and shopping cart integration. All right, so that's the third one. The fourth one, uh, which is actually by WooCommerce, it's called Sensei. And Sensei is another WordPress plugin. Now bear in mind that Sensei is not as feature rich compared to LearnDash. It is feature rich in the sense that it can provide a lot of different things like quizzes and the standard items, but beyond that, really learn dash really goes above and beyond and of course last but not least we have namaste lms that's uh, namaste dash lms dot org and this one says that it is free but they have a free version and of course they have a pro version so if we click on go pro so namaste lms pro version you can create classes, you can assign teachers to the class, you can award badges, you can reorder courses, manage files. So a lot of basic elements, essentially. Now, if we go to other modules, you can kind of get an idea of additional plugins that are on top of the Namaste LMS system. So as you can see, it's a fairly basic and it might be something that you need. I mean, if you're low budget, you can do this first, but bear in mind that as you grow, it'll be a pain to switch. So that's why I say start with the one that really works for you first. It can be Learn Dash, it can be uh, something else, but stick with that first and think about it and review it and look at the features and see if that is going to take you, you know, a few years or even five years down the road. All right. So with that said, let's move on to the next video. Hello and welcome to video number five. Let's talk about the recommended WordPress LMS plugin. So as you saw in the previous video, there are tons and tons of different WordPress LMS plugins, but we recommend LearnDash. And the reason why we recommend Learn Dash is it's based on Fortune 500 company courses. So the guy behind it is very knowledgeable of learning management systems. 
So he's not just someone who decided, oh, you know, one day I'm going to create this with, and I have no experience. It's somebody who actually has experience and created it based on their experience. And looking through LearnDash, uh, utilizing it ourselves, uh, we've come to like it. And uh, what's nice about LearnDash is it also integrates into a lot of other plugins, such as uh, GammaPress.com, which allows you to gamify your online course and much more. So that's something else that you want to think about is does the WordPress plugin that I'm using going to integrate with a lot of other WordPress plugins? Because if it doesn't, it kind of limits your ability to grow. It might work now, but as you grow, uh, that'll create more problems later down the road. So let's jump on into Learn Dash, and I'll give you a quick overview of how things are laid out. Okay, so before I give you a quick overview of Learn Dash, I want to briefly talk about uh, Learn Dash, the add-ons that it offers, and integration into things like GammaPress.com. So if you go to LearnDash.com and you go to add-ons, you'll be able to see, besides the main features, what it can integrate into. So for example, it can integrate into WooCommerce, Stripe, different shopping carts, so that allows you to uh, take in money. You can do a course grid, which makes your courses look nice. You can integrate it into BuddyPress, which basically makes it into uh, kind of like a Facebook atmosphere. You got Learn Dash notifications. You got BB Press, which is uh, private forums. It also integrates into a lot of membership WordPress plugins. So I highly recommend that you come here to this site just to kind of get a view of what it provides so that you can see the potential of growing your site. So, like I said, Learn Dash is primarily for creating courses and uploading your courses. But if you combine the power of courses, community, and fun or gamification, those three components combined together can actually make it so addicting that people will not leave your community. So if you go to gamapress.com, that's gamipress, G-A-M-I, press.com, this integrates into Learn Dash. Now you can see the potential here. So for example, and click on social. So you could connect Gamma Press with YouTube or Vimeo. So in other words, you can give people points uh, based on if they watch a certain amount of video, they can do other things. Let's click on all. In fact, I'll click on pro add-ons. So they have free add-ons that you can use and they have pro add-ons as well. So you can see here, if people refer their friends, they can get points for that. Another thing is daily login rewards. So that way you can get people to come back to your site and log in every single day. And by doing that, they get rewards and they get points that they could potentially use to buy other things. So now to integrate that, you would have to install something like WooCommerce. And from WooCommerce, that is the sort of the bridge between GammaPress and LearnDash. It enables you to uh, set things up so that people can get points. Uh, they can use those points to perhaps get discounts or even get certain things from your WooCommerce shop. So I wanted to show you that because that's very, very powerful to have. Okay, so now what I want to do is give you a quick overview of LearnDash. And LearnDash has been integrated into one of our sites, as you can see here. It says LearnDash LMS. And if you, once you've installed it, you can go to Overview. And I want to point out that in addition to all the features that LearnDash offers you, it also offers you a lot of helpful documentation and learning information. So a lot of times when you purchase software or get access to web applications, 
they don't really offer you enough information on how to implement their plugin. So a lot of times you are left with trying to figure things out yourself. So fortunately for you though, Learn Dash is so popular, you could either do it yourself or you could hire somebody on Upwork.com or other freelancing sites to actually set things up for you. Now, if we scroll up here, under Learn Dash LMS, we have courses. So that's pretty self-explanatory, but courses are essentially a series of videos. So one course could have uh, different lessons. So think of lessons kind of like a section. So for example, lessons could be sections. So you could have like section A, section B, section C, and then within the lessons, you can have topics, all right? And this will give you a better idea when we take a look at a live site. So to give you an idea of what a Learn Dash course looks like, so this is chemistry, and this is a course. So it's going to have the title, the description, the teacher here. And of course, you can start the course. You can see the course includes two lessons, four topics, and one quiz. So it's really not laid out really nice. Now, it really depends on your WordPress theme. So you want to keep in mind that your WordPress theme is going to make the styling a little bit different. So the styling that you see here may be a lot different then you're styling. So that's a demo course right here is a inside of the course of the chemistry course. And as you can see here, right here, these are sections and these sections are basically what we call lessons. And underneath the lessons, these right here are topics. So we got course here, we got lessons, and then we've got topics. So as we can see here, once you've watched the video and you can upload your videos, like I said earlier, to Vimeo or uh, any other video hosting site. And it's really easy to create this. All you have to do is embed the video, add some text, and that's it. So as you can imagine, if somebody's going through here, when they're done, they click on Mark Complete. And what's nice about Learn Dash is it pushes them to the next step. All right. so. Courses, lessons, topics, and then we got quizzes, which I'll discuss later down the road. We'll also discuss certificates later on. We've got assignments, we've got groups, we have reports, we have add-ons and settings. Now, within add-ons, that allows you to add uh, different elements to your learning management system. So we showed you earlier if you go to the Learn Dash website and you go to add-ons at the top, you'll be able to get a list of uh, different add-ons that you can use and integrate into your site. Now, if we go into a course, in this case, we have philosophy, you can see that there's the title, the description right here. And then if you click on the builder, this allows you to build your course out. So we have the sections here so we can move things around. And as you can see, it's very easy. You can simply drag and drop things. So you've got lessons here. And if you click the drop down here, you've got the topics here and you can drop quizzes in between these videos if you want to do that. So you see why we mapped everything out in the past videos. This way we know exactly what steps to create once we get into Learn Dash. So we got settings and we've got groups. What's nice about this is you can create groups. So as you can see here, I've created the world history group and you can say, okay, the world history group over here has access to this course. So anybody who's taking this course, is automatically dumped in to this particular group. So maybe you have one group 
that encompasses lots of different courses. Or if you want to have a individual separate group for every single one of your courses, you can do that as well. 